गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो चिल्ड्रन एज वी नो दैट चैप्टर फोर क्लाइमेट इज गोइंग ऑन एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सो मैनी टॉपिक्स एंड आर लास्ट टॉपिक वॉज एनुअल साइकिल ऑफ सीजन्स एंड इन दिस टॉपिक वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट टू सीजन्स कोल्ड वेदर सीजन एंड हॉट वेदर सीजन एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज एडवांसिंग मानसून और रेनी सीजन क्लियर ओके सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल लर्न अबाउट द एडवांसिंग मानसून हाउ इट फॉर्म्स एंड वेन इट कम्स इन इंडिया सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लो प्रेशर कंडीशन ओवर नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न प्लेन्स इज इंक्रीज बाय फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जून and they are strong enough to attract the trade winds of the southern hemisphere and these ocean originating southeast trade winds move over the indian ocean and cross the equator to follow the southwesterly direction as they pass over the equatorial warmed currents they carry a lot of moisture in them The monsoons are pulsating winds as compared to the steady trade winds and these strong winds tend to blow at an average speed of 30 km per hour and they blow all over the country in a month's time leaving only the extreme northwest violent thunder and uh, lightning that mark the sudden approach of these moisture rich winds bring on what is popularly known as the breaking of the monsoon the southwest monsoon that flows into indian bring about a major change in its weather in indian peninsula divides the monsoons into two branches first is the arabian branch and the next is the bay of bengal branch so these uh, uh, it is divided uh, into two monsoon branches clearly clear okay so first we will talk about the characteristics of the arabian sea branch with the help of the diagram or the map so the arabian sea branch reaches mumbai by 10th june for this we can use uh, the map so it starts from 10th june in mumbai now you can see here in uh, mumbai and the western ghats these are the western ghats now you can see in the map pose an obstruction to this branch of monsoon jo western ghats ki jo hills hain wo ek tarah se obstruction ka jo hai uh, kaam karti hain yahan par aur jo bhi uh, rainfall hai wo yahan par uh, due to the western ghats yahan pe hota hai so heavy rains occur on the windward side of the shahadris and this monsoon branch crosses the ghats and reaches the dakkan plateau and madhya pradesh where it causes some rainfall now you can see in the diagram ye yahan se start hokar then it uh, passes uh, the or sorry it crosses the western ghats and reaches the dakkan plateau area in madhya pradesh and uh, here it causes rainfall this branch then enters the ganga plains now you can see here ganga plains wala jo part hai to meet the bay of bengal branch yahan se bay of bengal branch ja rahi hai aur uske sath ye mil jati hai clear so another sub branch hits the shaurashtra peninsula and the kutch by mid june clear so yahan se baad mein ye मिड जून में सौराष्ट्र की तरफ से और जो बंगाल की तरफ से जो मानसून विंड्स आती हैं वो एक एक साथ आके हिट करती हैं और मिल जाती हैं डेली रिसीव्स रेनफॉल बाय द ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ जून डेली इज़ हेयर नाउ यू कैन सी एंड इट रिसीव्स रेनफॉल बाय ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ जून सो एज दिस ब्रांच पासिस ओवर वेस्टर्न राजस्थान इट कॉज कैंटी रेनफॉल एंड दिस ब्रांच meets the bay of bengal branch in punjab and haryana to cause rains in the western himalayas by first week of july clear about it that's good 
So, this is about the characteristics of Arabian Sea branch. Next is characteristics of the Bay of Bengal branch. So, uh, we will see this uh, with the help of the map only. So, this branch of monsoon is naturally directed towards past parts of southeast Bangladesh. Southeast Bangladesh, yahan se aap, you can see here, southeast Bangladesh, yahan se ye pass kar rahi hai. Okay, and uh, to be deflected later, where uh, uh, from the coastal Myanmar, and this deflection occurs due to the Arakan Hills along Myanmar's coast. Arakan Hills are here. Okay, it is a Myanmar coast, and this one, and Arakan Hills are here. So uh, here. A major part of this monsoon branch enters West Bengal and Bangladesh from south and southeast, uh, which is you can see in the map also. So, low temperature in northwest India causes the branch to split into two, one of which moves westward and the other moves to the north and northeast India. So, the westward branch reaches the Punjab plains along the Ganga plains. And while the other branch moves up the Brahmaputra valley to cause heavy, uh, heavy and widespread rains in northeastern India. So, the relief of our country determines the distribution of rainfall over the southwest monsoon. So, we observe that the western ghats receive a rainfall of over 250 centimeter. On the other hand, Less than, uh, less than 50 centimeter of rain is recorded on the leeward side of the ghats. It shaded portion raega, jo leeward side raega, waha pe barish kam hogi. Because heavy rainfall in the, uh, sorry, similarly the hills and mountain ranges cause heavy rainfall in the northeastern states. So, northeastern uh, or the northern plain experience decreased rainfall as one moves westward. At this time of the season, Kolkata receives 120 centimeter of rain, while Patna, Allahabad, and Delhi receive 102 centimeter or 20 uh, or 91 centimeter or 56 centimeter of rainfall. So the increasing distance from the sea causes the decline in the rainfall. The monsoon tends to have breaks in its rainfall which causes wet and dry spills. So, this means that monsoon rains occur only a few days at a time. Rainless dry spills occur in uh, between uh, this phenomena is due to the frequent and strong tropical depression. So, formed at the head of the Bay of Bengal, they cross over the mainland and the depressions follow the axis of the monsoon trough of the, the low pressure. So, due to different causes, the trough and its axis keep moving to the north or south, which in turn decides on the special distribution of rainfall. So, when the axis of the monsoon trough is over the plains, the region receives ample rainfall. But if there is a shift in the axis, and it moves closer to the Himalayas, then an increase in dry spells is observed and these dry spells also last longer than other times. So, widespread rainfall occurs in the mountainous catchment areas of the Himalayan rivers and these heavy rainfalls herald floods that devastate the lands leading to huge loss of life and property in the plain regions. So, uncertainty and changes are characteristics of the monsoons. The alternation of dry and wet spells varies in intensity, frequency and in durations also. So, they bring heavy rains in one part and cause droughts in other areas. Their irregular arrival and retreat disrupt the farming schedule of most of the Indian farmers. Clear? So, here we have completed this topic advancing monsoon and in the next video we will discuss about the retreating monsoon or the transition season. So, till then take care and bye.